So this is the pendulum experiment. And of course, you're going to measure several lengths and let it swing. Um, I'm just going to show one example. Uh, Earlier, I made myself a mark here of exactly 100 centimeters. So now I'm going to measure down. So I put the end of this one, the uh, measuring tape on here. And I'm measuring 96 centimeters to the middle of um, my weight because you're not supposed to measure to the bottom or to the top, you have to measure to the middle of it where the center of mass is. Um, in this case, you actually notice that I did make a mistake. The, um, the measuring tape doesn't start at the end of it, but there is a zero mark, so that's where I have to start. And I just wanted to show that typical systematic error that you could do in this experiment. Um, so I'm actually measuring 98 centimeters on top of the 100 centimeters I had earlier and the lab sheet perhaps says 200 centimeters, but I would use 198 centimeters instead. Uh, remember that those are always benchmarks that I give, the 25, 50, 75, and so on. So um, use something that's relatively close to it. I'm using 198. Now I'm letting it swing forth and back, and I'm gonna start and keep the angle small. I'm gonna start right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, it says on the lap sheet 20 times, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, earlier when I strung it up, eleven. 12, 13, I didn't lose count, did I? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Um, of course, you're going to have um, a different kind of stopwatch, or perhaps you could just go with the clock. Um, with stopwatch, you increase the accuracy a little bit. With a normal um, clock, um, you can get probably to the closest second. I measured 53.8 seconds, so I rounded to 54 seconds for 20 swings, which means when I put it on the paper, it's going to be 2.7 seconds per swing. Um, if I actually had a miscount, if I actually counted 21 or 19 instead of the 20, I will notice that later when it comes to the calculations. Um, as I said, for or as, as you look at the lab sheet, you should come up with um, 982 close to it um, for for gravity, 982 centimeters per second squared. But um, if I come up with something that's widely off, I could attribute it that I made a miscount. Earlier, when I when I strung this up, I noticed that the um, that the string was twirled and it untwirled itself, and that actually could make a difference. So wait till it's till it's kind of stable. Um, basically, that's actually it that that you um, are going to measure here. Um, for the pendulum, you're um, measuring the time, you're measuring the length as, ac as accurately as you can, and yeah, you could have the systematic errors that I showed you earlier of measuring to the bottom while you're measuring where you're supposed to measure to the middle. Um, you have to measure exactly from the pivot. Um, you could have um, the systematic errors of hitting the stopwatch too early or too late. You could have random errors of, well, simply measuring, and then you have to say, well, how accurate did I actually measure, plus minus one centimeter. Um, and then here on the stopwatch as well, um, the random error of, did I actually hit it right now, or did I just hit it a moment too late or too early, and I'm not exactly sure about it. Anyway, that's um, actually all I have to say about the pendulum, because it's a really easy experiment to put up and to measure. And I do the calculations in a different recording. Thanks.